All right, welcome to WPPI 2016. We are here right in front of the main hall and we are getting ready to go in and do some awesome interviews out there. There's tons of new stuff out there. We have the brand new Canon. We have the brand new Nikon we're gonna interview, hopefully. We have some cool LED lights that we saw out there. So we're excited to get in there again and go show you what's new out here. All right, we are back here on the floor at the Lumix booth at WPPI 2016 with Sean Robinson. How's it How going? are you doing? Doing all right. Great to meet you in person. We've been chatting online and everything yeah. and, and talking a lot. So what do you have for me today? All right, so uh, today we've got the GX8, so the newest uh, flagship stills camera for the system. It's got the 20 megapixel uh, micro four thirds chip with our uh, brand new dual image stabilization. Excellent. Uh, yeah. I love it. I, I have one in my arsenal too. I don't have it today, but I have one, so I, I'm, I'm loving the camera. Tell me a little bit about the, uh, uh, Joseph was just talking about the post focus. Post focus, yeah. All right, so uh, one of the newest uh, firmware updates that we pushed out for the camera is post focus. So okay. basically what this is doing, this is taking what we started with 4K photo, rolling that 4K video at 30 frames per second, and now working in tandem with DFD focusing to rack focus through a plane given on a specific lens determines the speed and allows you to roll 4K video 30 frames per second while grabbing every focus point across that. Yep. It gives you a couple uh, options in the post. It means you can either now, after you take the shot, you're looking in the back, you tap where you want to focus and just like 4K photo, click the button to save out, save that JPEG. Or, as Joseph has actually uh, showed us, you can take this now, load that file into something like uh, um, uh, Helicon, uh, it's photo stacking software, yep. which accepts the video file, strips it into stills, and then now you actually can do your photo stacks. And from you can macro do it with Photoshop or something like that too, right? Yeah, put it as layers. Exactly, yeah. You can drop it into Photoshop, strip out all the individual images, take the ones out that you don't want, and then compress those down into a, a stacked file. Love it, I love yeah. it. And that's giving you what the uh, same as the uh, video file, so they're eight? Uh, yes, yeah, so they're, they're 8.3 megapixel files, Okay. Um, right. and it works with any lens across Anyone that makes Micro Four Thirds autofocus will will be able to work with this. Our lenses will work faster and more accurately through DFD, but other lenses I've tested do work. Okay, cool. I love it. I love it. Great toys. I've been playing with that a little bit since I've gotten. I haven't done it a lot with it, but I'm looking forward <laughs> to lear learning it and figuring out some more stuff. So yeah. this lens has gotten. We did a uh, interview with Tom Curley about it, and it was in a glass block, and it was a prototype. Yep, this it's is all the plastic actual, at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it was all, yeah. So we weren't allowed to take it out and touch it and play with it, but we've been seeing tons of videos and pictures popping up now that you have real ones oh, yeah. that everyone's testing them. So tell us about this and who is this for? All right, so this is the brand new one to 400, uh, which gives you an effective 200 to 800 millimeter field of view if you're comparing it to uh, 35 millimeter SLR. It's a Leica uh, Vario Elmar, which means it's an F4 to 6.3. So out at 800 millimeter field of view, you're a 6.3. Now, the photographer that's really kind of honing in on this is the wildlife and uh, uh, some sport photographers. Sure. Surfing guys have actually really kind of dig this lens. They're picking it up. Um, because when you look at traditionally what you're shooting for wildlife with even a 300 F4 or an 800 millimeter 6.3 from some of the competitors, sure. those lenses require tripods or a monopod or something just or, to support it. because or the a lens, surfer to it, carry it around yeah, for you. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Your friend, yeah. like, hey, carry this. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to this, which at 800 millimeter, this is 100% hand holdable yeah. at 800 millimeter. Now, the way we, we do that is by combining the optical and sensor shift stabilization in this camera with the dual so IS. Both now. Both. So the sensor moves and then the uh, optic moves as well, and they work in tandem. Okay. So what that means now is I've been able in, in the convention so far, at 800 millimeter, shooting into a dimly ish lit room. Handhold 800 millimeter in a quarter of a second and they are tack sharp one out of every three shots, two out of every three shots, depending on how much coffee I've had in the morning. Sure, sure. <laughs> had a little bit this morning, so I'm a little shaky. Excellent. But, I mean, you know, when you look at it, it's it's a totally hand holdable yeah. super telephoto. And it's carrying the right, Leica I'll name. See you later. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> hand holdable right out the door. 
I'm, I'm, uh, I've been waiting for it, so to be able to actually test it and do a review. Yeah. So it's uh, Should it is be definitely soon. it is definitely a lot lighter than friends that have Canon wildlife yeah. lenses and everything. Exactly. And it's all image stabilized, which yep. definitely you need at this at this level. Too. Yeah, and and it, it carries all the characteristics that Leica has carried with us and in their own lenses for forever. It's made to be shot wide open. You shoot this at f4 at 100 millimeter. You shoot this at 6.3 out at 800 millimeter or 400 millimeter, and it's sharp. It's cross the frame sharp, great Excellent. contrast. The bokeh out at 800 millimeter is just super creamy. It's really, really nice looking. So they're gonna love it. They're gonna eat it up. Oh yeah. And the, the price is great. So what's the price going for? Price is $1,800. 1800 for so, a Leica. Yeah, for, for a Leica optic that we've got sitting on, on one of the best micro four thirds cameras in the industry. Awesome, I love it, I love it. So can't wait. I know Susie, our vice president, has been dying to buy that. She's like, can I go pre-order it and everything? Let's test it out and yeah. everything. So once we test it, I'm sure she'll be putting her order in and getting that for her uh, wildlife photography. Oh yeah. So cool. Um, excellent. Well, good stuff yeah. coming from you guys. When is this expected to hit the actual market for people to be able to buy them? So I believe uh, availability should be end of this month into April. When they're um, actually going to start shipping. Yeah, when they should start shipping. They're, pre um, they're in pre-order now. I've yeah, seen they're, that they're in. They're in definitely in pre-order right now. We've taken an enormous amount of pre-orders for it right now. So. Um, you know, if, if you're not on a list, get on a list sooner rather than later. You know, sure. make, make sure you can get one of those first ones that comes out. Sure. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a powerhouse lens for us this year. So we're back here now with the 12 to... 12 to 60. 12 to 60, and this one you said was a little bit more of an entry level lens. Correct, yeah. Okay. So this is, uh, we, we announced this at CES just recently. Um, Actually, not at CES. We announced it uh, uh, about two weeks ago. Okay. Um, so this is now, it's it's another one of our, our higher level kit lenses for the system. So this is equivalent to your 24 to 120 now. Okay. Um, the kind of unique thing about it for our system now is, so it is power OIS, so it will work in tandem with the GX8 for okay. dual IS. But for us, the biggest thing is that it's another metal mount kit lens that's also weather sealed. Excellent. So the system, when you're using it on a GX8 or a GH4, is now giving you the weather sealed capabilities of, of the rest of our system. Um, it's a 3.5 to 5.6. Um, it's also designed to be really good for video shooters and kind of the person that wants to get an all-in-one lens that you typically see from the other guys. Probably a lot lighter too than what I'm using. It's a lot lighter. Yeah. So um, take a look at that. Oh yeah, that lightens it up quite a bit. It's a lot lighter. It's a it's a nice solid versatile range to work with. And nice um, what's the, the price point, projected price point on this? So I believe the price point is three ninety nine. Okay. Uh, three ninety nine, so four ninety nine in that area. Too, it's then. much more affordable. Um, it'll be in kit form with with some of the other cameras as, as we go throughout the year. So. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, what else do I need to know about it? So it's a variable aperture. It's lighter, yes. much more affordable. Video shooters. Yep. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, is it out yet, or is it coming uh, It out? will be released uh, shortly. shortly. I don't know okay. if we've given an actual ship date, but I believe it should be around um, like April in that okay. time frame. So. Okay, cool. Is it on pre-order? It is on pre-order right now through all of the retailers and on Panasonic.com. So. Okay, so 12 to 60. Also, now this one's not Leica, right? This is just Lumix branded? This is the Lumix branded lens, okay. um, but it does carry the same characteristics of, of being designed to be shot wide open and, sure. and just overall a great performer. Cool. Well, check that one out too, and we'll see you guys back here soon with more new stuff, I'm sure. Sounds good. Thank you.